Hello, Michael here with another quick render man tutorial. Today I'm just going to be talking briefly about how to convert textures from uh, basically any file format to a .txt file. So um, some of you may have noticed this button here on the render man shelf. That's basically uh, the tool that we're going to be using to, to convert any texture into a .txt file. .txt files are useful for particular render farms like um, ones that I've shown in previous videos um, and also all your images are converted to .txt at render time anyway so this will uh, eventually speed up your render time uh, at least if you're running a lot of IPRs and switching out textures and stuff like that so um, I'm going to run you through it really quickly how to do it. So you've got a couple of options when you click that button, um, that one there you can either pick images or you can pick a directory. So I've already set up a directory with just one in it. So um, I've just put it in source images for this particular project um, called for text conversion. Now, if you load all your textures into one file, um, you can always point the um, you can always point the texture manager to that folder, and you can select this button here, which is newer images only. So It'll look at your images and it will detect whether or not they've been changed since the last time it was converted. If they have been updated, then it'll convert them again and overwrite the previous um, converted file. So if I pick that directory um, and hit save and then I pick a new directory, I can just create a subdirectory for example. Text conversions. And then you've got a few more options left. Um, your texture type is generally going to be texture unless you're doing an environment map. And then you've got three different texture nodes. Generally you're going to using, be using periodic. This is useful for uh, repeating uh, texture patterns. Uh, black is good if you're using UDIM. Um, and uh, clamp is useful for non-periodic textures. So uh, once you've got that all set up, you can click OK. And I'll run the conversion. And then it's done. So now it's just a matter of going into your Hypershade Editor. And this is the texture map for our uh, monster. So the diffuse color is the one that I converted. So I'll go to Source Images and then Text Conversion. And you'll see it there, Big Mouth 2 diffuse.txt. So I'll open that up. Um, and then you need to decide if it was if it needed to be linearized when it was converted, then it will still need to be linearized. Um, this was a, uh, this yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, this was a JPEG file, so I do need to linearize it. And then once that's done, you can run your IPRs just as usual, and you'll get your render coming up as you would have had it if you were just using um, a regular image. So if you're planning on doing a big project, um, you might want to do a .txt conversion. Obviously, it's fine just to do it the um, normal ways, using a, either a Pixar texture node or even just a Maya read node. Um, generally, I'd recommend using a Pixar texture node nowadays. Uh, I didn't previously, but um, I I've, I've did a project where I needed to use a render farm and I did actually need to have that as my texture read node. So uh, I recommend using that uh, in future. So yeah, that's, um, that's pretty much the whole process though. So hopefully that's been useful for all of you out there. Um, if it was, make sure you click the like button so other people can find it on YouTube. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe as I do a couple of tutorials for products like RenderMan and other CG software every week. Um, here on YouTube. If you want to stay up to date any further, check out the Facebook page, link in the description. That's it for now though. Thank you very much for watching and happy rendering.